Hi everyone, and welcome to another video of the SAFI webinar series. In this video, we are going to have an overview of the slab on grade springs command. The slab on grade springs command adds soil springs to model a raft foundation. Each slab on grade must be linked to a valid selection group. For a selection group to be valid, it must have plate elements in it. To define a slab on grade, the user needs to specify a plate group and the modulus of a subgrade reaction KS. Without further ado, let's start our demo. The slab on grade springs command is available in the tables menu. To add a slab on grade springs to the model, we need to have a plate group and specify the modulus of the subgrade reaction KS. In this example, we have a group of finite element plates. To add a slab on grade to this model, first we need to create a group of plates. We select the plate, then we use this command define selection group and we specify a name to this group. For example, slab on grade. We then click OK to validate. Next, in the slab on grade springs dialog box, we assign the plate group that we just created. And we specify a modulus of subgrade reaction. For this example, we use a value of 5000 kilonewton by cubic meter. We then click OK to validate. Now, if we look at the joints, we can see all the springs are activated for the joints of these plates. These type of springs are compression only springs. Let's run the analysis and if we display the global deformation, let's zoom here, we can see that many of the springs are deactivated because the springs are in compression only. If the displacement of the joint in the y direction is positive, the springs will be deactivated. If we display the displacement in the numerical table and we select joint displacements from this menu, we can then click on the header displacements Y. To order this numerical table, we can see that many joints have positive displacements. So in this case, all the springs attached to this joint will be deactivated. I'm going to select these joints with a positive Y displacement and I'm going to display them on the model. Now, I will dim the unselected joints and we can see all these joints with a positive Y displacement. The spring is activated. It is possible to display the slab on grade results in a numerical table. On the results toolbar here, on the analysis tab, we select slab on grade springs numerical table. This table contains the nodal vertical displacement, the Y global, and the soil pressure results which are displayed for each load combination. A positive vertical displacement indicates the uplift of the slab at the joints. When we click on the uplift header, we can see the joints where the uplift occurred. We also have a column that displays the tributary area for each joint, the stiffness of the spring, and the soil pressure. Another way to display the slab on grade results graphically is using finite element results. We click on the contour results button, then we click on the top view and in this dialog box of ISO colors we select the slab on grade results and we select soil pressures from this menu. In this case the maximum pressure corresponds to a blue color and a soil pressure near or equal to zero will be displayed in red color as we can see here. If we click on this button, pick another value, we can display the value of the pressure of any specific joint. So, for example, here the pressure is positive, and if we click here, we can see that the pressure is zero, which means that we have an uplift at this specific point. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and catch you in another one of our webinar series videos.